Hey everybody, so I am finally back and today we are doing nails. So if you have not done so, please make sure you subscribe to my channel so you do not miss any videos and give me a thumbs up okay y'all so today i am redoing my nails i got this cute little um nail dip kit from walmart it's called serendipity is the brand is serendipity and pretty much what's included i'll go ahead and get a little close so pretty much what's included are three different dip colors we got glitter this is white and then this is like a pink color or is that white yeah, that's why you gonna say French tip. Okay, yeah. And then the three things up here is the bonding, the bonding gloss. This is like a cleanser for the for the two brushes, and then this is an activator. Pretty much the way it works is um the process is you you uh paint on the bonding gloss and then you dip your nails into the powder and then it sticks. Um and then you put the activator and then you put the activator on it to harden it and um then you can shape it up and uh you're pretty much done it does not it's a powder so it doesn't have to dry which i love it's kind of like gel nails in that sense but um in the in the nail shops it's called sns so i usually sometimes get sns on my nails just because um I don't know it's just something different something different to get other than polish and other than gel polish so this is not a polish this is a dip dip nail so last week when i did my nails i did them in a pink color and i i just used my real nails that's why i like these because you can just dip your real nails and it looks pretty or whatever so last week i just did my regular nails but this week i went and bought some fake nails so I'm gonna go ahead and add some tips on to my nails this week and last so last week I did pink but this week I'm gonna add some tips on to it make it a little bit longer and then I'm gonna do white so yeah if you want to see the finished product please stay tuned I'm not gonna drag it out y'all I'm gonna zoom y'all in so y'all can really get in close and see what's going on and we're gonna get cute okay So I got all the nails on and I can't find my big clippers so I'm gonna just use these little bitty baby ones to cut it but I want to come back real quick and just say the purpose of me doing my own nails I bought this little kit for my daughter but um I bought this kit for my daughter but I wanted to try it too you know so and also you know some people hate going to get their nails done so this is for if you really just hate going to the nail shop and plus i'm like kind of creative you know i like to do my own hair so i was like well let me do my own nails and the main reason is because a lot of the times when i go to the nail shop i'm not completely satisfied you know like i probably need to just get me a real nail tech 
somebody you know not the little Chinese people or whatever because they be like literally I feel like they be half doing my nails like I I feel like when they put the fake nails on, like the sides, like they, the nails that they put on my nail bed be too small and you can see the side of my finger. And it's just like, I don't know, they be rushing. And it's just a lot. I mean, I know y'all can relate. You know, you go there and it's just like, you be looking at them and they just be, I don't know, I don't be 100% satisfied all the time. So this kit was $20 and we've already used it like i said i used it once my daughter used it once so and i'm finna use it a third time and we're we gonna have a lot more use out of it so and also it's a good way to save money you know uh and time because you go in there you're sitting in there forever so and then the nails the fake nails i think that was like five dollars and it looked like you could probably get about three three full sets out of those fake nails that case or whatever so yeah i just wanted to come back and uh say that so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and continue cutting getting the length that i want for my nails and then we're going to then i'm gonna buff them buff them down and then we're gonna start the process Okay, so I got it pretty much shaped so I'm gonna go ahead and buff it and get it ready for the dip because with the fake nails you want to try to have a flat surface you don't want it to be a hump so you want it to go from your nail to the fake nail and just be smooth you know for the most part So I'm all done buffing and I'm gonna go ahead and start dipping so the main thing cuz I cuz I did this a few times already so I made my little mistakes and I know what to do and what not to do so my main tip for you is the um the bonding gloss make sure you press down hard when you're putting it on so this is the bonding i know you probably can't see it but this is the bonding gloss that's that's all we need right now is the bonding gloss and the uh and the dip powder is that white yeah so here's the little thing it come in i'm just gonna dip my dip my nail in so that's all oh wait and it comes with a little buffer so i'm gonna go ahead and buff them Ooh, not that one to smooth it to get like all that uh you know the little stuff i was just wiping away make sure it's smooth okay so so let's go ahead and let me try to squeeze y'all in a little bit closer okay so 
So you wanna press really hard with the bonding gloss and make sure you get it on every part of your nail, especially the tips, especially everything, because if you wherever you don't put it, then it's not gonna stick. So, and I should have buffed it. Uh, Y'all, excuse my daughter, she over there just playing. Okay, so get that out the way and get my, get my paper towel. Oh, there you go. Okay, so put that like that. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna press hard, and I'll make sure I get every piece of the nail from the cuticle all the way to the tip. And you gotta press hard to make sure you getting it good on there don't matter if you got to go back in a couple times just make sure it's on there all the way especially on the edges okay hope y'all can see that so I got that on there oh I need a face mask so you just do a, do a quick little dip and it is they, the nails are long so that's the only bad thing this thing's kind of short so let me dip it in there easier when it's my own nails and just do it okay oh it's got a kind of a see how I look white now I'm gonna have to hopefully y'all can see that but compared to the other nail see how it's all white so this the one is dipped and this the one that's not Okay, so that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do and do all of them. But I may need to buff. It should be, I don't know. I hope it be okay. Let me buff it down. Cause it's like a line, like you can see the line where the where the fake nail is. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to get rid of that though. I'm just filing it, you know, where that line is to make sure. So let's see if this one can do any better. Okay, y'all so I'm all done with dipping I dipped each nail three times so each nail is fully coated white it was dipped three times and so right now I'm just gonna wait a couple minutes like maybe two three minutes just to make sure it's very dry and and the next thing we're gonna do is um let me put the because this stuff and you might need a, a face mask or this these chemicals are strong so the next thing I'm going to need is the instant activator. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that out. Okay, so let me see, cause this, it kind of confuses me. So, okay, use the buffer to apply another coat. Okay, wait, wait, wait. 
Okay, so after it's all done, so I'm going to apply the instant activator and, the, and let it dry for one minute. Okay, so I did my dipping, so I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna make sure this is even though it's dry, you know, but I'm still gonna give it a minute. Then I'm gonna come back and put the activator on, and then I'm gonna shape them up again because you know, after you put the acrylic and stuff on, you still gotta go in and shape them up. So, yep, they don't look bad, they're just pure white. So, I'm gonna put this on. Matter of fact, I'm just going to do it now, and it say put a generous amount. So going in with my activator this little brush it's like i need a i wish it was a bigger brush so make sure you get enough because that's the thing this brush is like so little get it from the root to the tip from the cuticle because this was gonna make it hard and you know like a nail so i'm gonna do that on all of them this this brush is terrible. But I think they came out cute. And I was going to say this is a really good gift. A really good Christmas idea gift for maybe like a teenage girl, you know? Or ladies, maybe even your a female friend, you know, like a stocking stuffer. Most people go get their nails done, but this is a good option if you you know just don't feel like going to the nail shop if you don't have the money for the nail shop because not having my not having something done to my nails is just like I just can't do it I just feel like they need to be painted they need to be something so I love having this little kit at home where I can just do it myself and it, and it's, and it looks really cute with just your natural nails like you don't have to put tips on it is really cute with like if you just do like a manicure. Ooh, put that on my table. Okay, so I got it all on my first hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the second hand. Um, let it dry for about two, three minutes, then we're gonna come back and shape them up. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes and uh it's pretty much dry. So now is like the hardest part where I'm gonna go in and file them up and make them look nice. So I'm back. I'm done buffing. Got to get all this stuff off my table. So I got them all shaped up. Pretty much how I want them to stay. And the next step is to go back over with the activator again. Because now that uh, now that it's pretty much done, you don't want them to be looking buffy, you know, buffed. You want them to be shiny and you know professional looking. So that's what this gonna do. Now that you got them all shaped up, go back over with the activator. Make sure you get all the spots if you don't get spots then them be the spots that will chip off so make sure you get all this area from the cuticle all the way to the tips and then and then we're gonna go back on with the bonding gloss and that's what's gonna really make it shiny so I'm just go ahead and do my other hand And the buffing took, I'll say, at least like 10 minutes. The buffing and the filing part is really, all of it is crucial. Because when you dip in it, you want to make sure it's even. When you filing it, you you know, you just want to make sure it looks nice. 
So the filing and the buffing did take a minute, but I mean, that's something you can do while you watching TV, really. Whew. I had to cut one of my cuticles, it was coming off. Now it's burning. Make sure you get them t the edges. But it came out, it came out good. And I'm gonna be able to keep this for at least two whole weeks, probably three. And like I said, the best thing is just like gel polish, you don't have to wait on it to dry. She's still over there making noise, y'all. Okay, so look, I don't on the table. So after you do the the activator we're gonna go back in with the bonding gloss let me see did it say wait before we go back with the bonding gloss okay no okay so after this one i'm gonna go wash my hands and get all this little stuff off my skin and all that um and i'm gonna dry them and i'm gonna wipe them and make sure they all the way wipe down you know you don't have no whole bunch of stuff on there then we're gonna put the bonding gloss on which will make it like shiny so i'll be right back after i wash my hands okay so i got my hands all washed and then it says to wipe the nails with a dry uh you know towel or napkin or whatever to make sure they're not wet so i'm gonna go ahead and wipe off each nail and I actually usually don't wear long nails, but I just, just decided to do do a little something cute, you know. So, um, so now, now that it's dry, do the bonding gloss. And the first coat, they say just kind of just just get it on there. It ain't real critical how you do it. Just get it on there. So I just go in kind of kind of quickly. That's what the directions say. Just kind of slap it on there. The bonding gloss. Okay. I'm going to do each hand. Because see right now you probably can't tell but it just looks dull. You know you don't have that extra shine. Like that top coat look to it. And I probably don't even need to be dipping it every time because it's just kind of. Y'all, please excuse her. So, okay, so it says apply apply the gloss two to three very quickly brush strokes, very thin. Do not worry about getting close to it. It said wait 15 seconds, then go back slower and more detailed. Do not brush, do not overbrush as it may affect the overall shine. So. So it's been about some one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so now we're gonna go. This is the last step, y'all. So go in. I guess more detail. Make sure you're getting the cuticle all the way to the tip, but don't overbrush. Basically, they saying do one pass to each nail. And they already looking shiny. I don't know if y'all can. Hopefully y'all can see. But like, you know, the, you know how it be like a little stuff on your skin. That's going to come off, you know, over time. Like after I get in the shower and do all that. Okay. So do my last hand. And then this is going to be it. After this dry, it say let this dry. I think it said, I'm gonna see what it said, hold on. So get that on there. And I actually, I gotta, I gotta run out the house, so I'm so glad I don't have to wait. Wait on it to dry. I'm good to go. Girl, I was out of there. Oh, okay. 
so okay so that's it y'all it said repeat it said repeat the you know the, those steps on the second hand which i did it says after nails have air dried for one to two minutes apply cuticle oil and hand lotion to moisturize so that is it and it says as a tip make sure you clean your brush so these two brushes may have some stuff on it and that's what this third one is for this is a brush cleanser so like right now i could probably stick these brushes into here to get them cleaned out you know so they'd be good to go for next time um yes yeah, it says dip any hardened brush into the brush softener and watch as product build up melts away so that's what that's for and that's pretty much it y'all okay y'all so i am all the way done i'm back now with my nails okay you know you know how you be when you get your nails done so now i'm back back at it got my nails done that's pretty much it let me get a close Woo. so y'all can see how they turned out not too bad like i said it's a little it's a little residue and stuff around the cuticle but that's just on my skin so once uh you know you get in the shower and you wash your hands a few times everything that's stuck onto your skin gonna come off but um yes so that's pretty much it you can go in and add some little rhinestones or um and that the other let me show y'all this one i could have did one nail with glitter but i didn't want to i don't know if y'all can see that but this one is glitter so you can get any color you want and uh yeah this is bougie on the budget ladies okay so and i meant to say this last earlier like midway through the video but again if you have not subscribed to my channel please make sure you hit that button give me a like on this video okay y'all my phone cut out but it don't want it don't want me to be great but anyway what i was saying was make sure you subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and i will see y'all on the next video bye mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.